there are a number of practical reasons to, to count OBCs, absurd that it's not been done, but there's almost politically uh, no upside really for any political party to, to, to count OBCs. It's almost like a lose-lose. Either it turns out that there's so many of them and you have to meet their aspirations or they're too few, so there's a backlash. Uh, is, is that why there's this stalemate? Uh, Basu, uh, first of all, I should thank you for clarifying many of the myths because they have been floating around on television, all kinds of media. Myth number one is we've never had anything of caste count since 1931. This is wrong. We've been counting SC and ST jati-wise since 1951. Correct. Number two, the myth is that uh, it would be so difficult. Practical things are so, so very difficult. We should remember that... Uh, Hundreds of religions are mentioned by people in every single census mm. uh, and that thousands of uh, languages are mentioned in every single census. They mm. are reduced, so if they can be handled, why not this one? Mm. Uh, number three, the myths that somehow some Bihar politicians have suddenly raised this bogey, as you have clarified. This has been, this is something which has been raised initially to begin with by the Registrar General of India. In 1999, he raised it. Hmm. This is something which six state governments have asked for. Hmm. This has been approved by the Parliamentary Standing Committee on the OBC Welfare. And uh, this is something which the entire parliament had unanimously approved of in 2010. And this is something BJP itself had promised on the floor of the House in 2018. So we are not looking at some weird request which has suddenly popped up. Hmm. To my mind, frankly, this is one of the biggest scandals of public policy in India. I can imagine uh, countries, you know, I can imagine why OBCs were not counted in 1960s, 70s, 80s. But once you have reservations, which is a legal instrument, how can you not count a community for which you have legal reservations? Exactly. First in then in education. I do not know of any single country in the world mm. which has some kind of affirmative action for any social group and which does not count it. I mean, if you want to institute anything for women, you have to count how many women there are and whether women are more educated, mm. less educated. US has it on race. They count every <laughs> single race. Malaysia yes. has by ori country of origin, Chinese and others. Malaysia counts that. So to my mind, this has this makes utterly no sense. The only reason why the BJP is scared, this does not apply to all of the political parties. BJP is scared is because there is a difference between its uh, spirit and its body. The spirit remains that of a Brahminic party, a party which, which has upper caste uh, mindset. But BJP's body, that is to say, actual vote share and social base has now expanded to include the OBCs. So its body and spirit are in conflict with each other. That's what it is.